Okay, I think we're live on YouTube and Facebook right now. So thank you guys all for tuning in. I um, hope you're all having just a beautiful, blessed day and sending all my love to all of you and all the communities on Facebook and YouTube and the entire planet. Blessed be to all of you. So today we're going to start this off a little bit different. I uh, We had a new member um, join one of our groups and um, I wanted to pull up a post that April uh, Mangino sent to me that one of our new members posted in Unconditional Self-Love Community, previously Unconditional Twin Flame Community. And I'm by, uh, here, let me get it here, by Arnie Freeman. So thank you, Arnie, for posting such a beautiful message. It just came through in our group. April spotted it right away, and uh, she shared it to me. And I thought this should be read at the start of our Tao Te Ching today, of the reading of the Tao Te Ching, the Book of the Way by Lao Tzu. So we're going to start with this. So if you guys could all like, share, subscribe, follow, you can get involved, drop your comments, and uh, please share this out. So Arnie Freeman writes, Let's say most folks are good. Some say we are born out of original sin. And others say we are born out of the image of God, who is all good. Whatever you hold, and if you're holding it, try to hold it loosely. Beliefs can get in the way of our living. Are the good folks acting in a way to support transformative life as well as bringing in wonder? Are good people living in such fear and confusion that they stay away from listening, sharing, rather than telling? So true. So true. Haven't we all been told plenty already? So true, Arnie. Is it not about time to ask and share rather than tell? So true. A amen. What does it feel like deep in your heart to be told? Great question. I love that, Arnie. This is so beautiful. Arnie continues to say, now, what does it feel like to have someone share? So if we look at what does it feel like deep in our heart to be told? What does it feel like deep in our heart to be told? And now Arnie says, now, what does it feel like to have someone share? What does it feel like to have someone share in your heart? Do you feel the difference, Arnie says in his post? If not, sit or walk with self and listen to your inner place of knowing. It's beautiful advice. Listen to you feel blessed to be with others who want to hug with no need to squeeze too tight. That's just beautiful. Let's read this one more time because I'm so moved by this. And I think this is so beautiful what Arnie has shared in the unconditional self-love community on Facebook that we started a few years ago with a whole bunch of other beautiful, beautiful people together as equals. We all did this. We created a beautiful space for people to talk and learn and evolve and share, to be free, to get advice and tips and to find a community that really loves and supports. So I hope you guys all join it, Unconditional Self Love Twin Flame Community. I will put the link in the comments below and in the description. So again, Arnie says, let's say most folks are good. Some say we are born out of original sin and others say we are born out of the image of God, who is all good. Whatever you hold, and if you're holding it, try to hold it loosely. I really love that. Beliefs can get in the way of our living. It's so true. How our beliefs can literally hold us back sometimes, sometimes. Whatever you hold, and if you're holding it, try to hold it loosely. Beliefs can get in the way of our living. Are the good folks acting in a way to support transformative life as well as bringing in wonder? Are good people living in such fear and confusion that they stay away from listening, sharing rather than telling? Haven't we all been told plenty already? Is it 
not about time to ask and share rather than tell? What does it feel like deep in your heart to be told? Now, what does it feel like to have someone share? Do you feel the difference? If not, sit or walk with self and listen to your inner place of knowing. Listen to you feel blessed to be with others who want to hug with no need to squeeze too tight. So Arnie Freeman, thank you. Bless you. We really appreciate you sharing that in the group. And we thought, thank you for joining. And we just loved it. A few of the admins here came across it. And uh, thank you. Bless you, brother. Keep up that stuff. We love this stuff. We love all of your posts. We love everybody's sharing. We love everybody posting. You're free to do whatever you want. So thank you all for being part of this group and staying involved and sharing the love and support. It's beautiful. I'm honored. Equals, we all are. Together. We stand united. So I wanted to go over and uh, get back to reading the Tao Te Ching to you guys, The probably my favorite book of all time on uh, oneness, on spirituality, of presence, of awareness, of understanding that many of us have a unique way, a unique path. And if we allow others to be who they are, allow yourself to be who you are, allow situations to be who they are and what they are, Uncertainty is a reality. Embrace it. That's Lao Tzu, Tao Te Ching, 2,500 years ago. So we're going to start off with uh, chapter 23 here. If you guys want to go back, I'll put the link in the comments. If you missed chapters 1 to 22, they're very short. It goes by pretty quick. I hope you guys all stay tuned in. And I, this is one of my favorite books. It's so beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoy this. The Tao Te Ching, T-A-O-T-E-C-H-I-N-G. And it stands for the Book of the Way, written by Lao Tzu, L-A-O-T-Z-U, uh, 2,500 years ago, um, about the, uh, the way of life and uh, a way to understand. And there's many ways to understand within the Tao Te Ching. You can really start to find your way. Each of you have your unique gifts. Each of you have your unique way. Each of you have your abilities that you do better than anybody else. And, you know, you can uncover those and by allowing the flow of life, not always by going with the flow, but allowing the flow. So let's continue with chapter 23. Words cannot be heard of. Words that cannot be heard of are natural. A gale can now blow for the whole morning. A rainstorm cannot last for the whole day. What caused these effects? Heaven and earth even the actions of nature do not last long. How much more can humans' behavior last with digressed from the natural Tao? Thus, one who follows the great Tao, when Tao is present, he will benefit, she will benefit from the world with Tao. When T is present, he will benefit from the world with T. When Tao and T are both lost, he, she identifies with the people, and benefits with enlightenment of teaching. One who identifies with Tao is glad to be with Tao. One who identifies with T is glad to be with T. One who identifies with the loss of Tao and T is glad to be lost with T. If one does not have enough faith in Tao, how can he assist others to practice with faith? He who raises himself on tiptoe cannot stand firm. He who walks with strides cannot travel far. He who is self-opinioned shall not be enlightened. He who is prejudiced shall not be recognized. He who brags about himself shall not receive credit. He who is arrogant shall not make improvements. In view of Tao, people who are self-centered are like the surplus food and redundant actions in everyday life. All things discuss them. Therefore, a person of Tao will not conduct himself in such manner. Something is formed in the chaos, which existed before heaven and earth. It is quite quiet and profound. It stands alone and alters not. It revolves eternally without exhaustion. It is regarded as the mother of all beings, 
I do not know its name except to call it Tao. When forced to give it a name, I would call it gr the great. The great is far reaching. Far reaching is infinite. Infinite is to return to self-sufficient origin. Therefore, Tao is great. Heaven is great. Earth is great. And so is the true self. There are four greatnesses in the universe. And true self is one of them. There are four greatnesses in the universe and true self is one of them. Man models the way of earth. Earth models the way of heaven. Heaven models the way of Tao. Tao models the way of nature. The heaven, the heavy is the fundamental of the light. Tranquility is the master of agitation. Therefore, the saint always conducts himself with the essence of Tao and never departs from it. Although he is surrounded by splendor of wealth, he remains to live a simple and ordinary life. He, how can a ruler govern a nation without recklessness if he indulges in power and desire? He who acts recklessly shall lose the essence of Tao. He who is agitated with lust and desire shall lose his true nature. Good deeds leave no signs. Good words leave no flaws. Good schemes, good scheme needs to, needs no deliberate plans. A good lock, a good lock uses no bolts, yet it cannot be opened. A good knot uses no rope, yet it cannot be united. Hence, a saint is always kind by saving other people and rejects no one. He is always kind by saving all things and therefore nothing is being rejected. Thus is true enlightenment. Thus a person is the teacher of the unkind. And an unkind person is a lesson for the kind to learn. He who does not value his teacher and dislikes the valuable lesson, although knowledgeable, is in fact greatly confused. This is the fundamental essence. To know the strong masculine principle yet abide by the gentle female principle is like being the valley of the word and all rivers will flow into. This is alike all virtue, which merge into the subtle Tao. Being a valley, valley of the world and not depart from the true nature, once, once can return to original pureness, pure, pureness like an infant. Once can return to original pureness like an infant. When one knows the white that is splendor, yet holds on to the black that is humble and lowly, he can be a standard of the world. Being a standard of the world and not deviate from true nature, one is able to return to the void of Tao. To know what is honor yet abide by the dishonored is like a valley of the world which is modest and humble. Being the valley of the world makes possible the true virtue to become complete and sufficient, and hence can return to simplicity. When the nature of simplicity is being manifested, it re results into various vessels. And by applying the pure simplicity, a saint can master all things. Hence, the great Tao is a unified oneness which cannot be separated apart. He who wishes to take control of the world and acts upon it, I can see that he will not succeed. For the world is a divine vessel. It cannot be acted upon as one wish. He who acts on it fails. He who holds on to it loses. Therefore, some things move forward while some follow behind. Some try to warm with exhaled air with some, while some try to blow it cold. 
Some are strong while some are weak. Some are successfully accomplished while some are declined and failed. Thus, the saint avoids all extremes, extravagance, and pride. One who assists the ruler with the principle of Tao will not use the force of arms to conquer the world. For such affairs will result in cause and effect. Wherever the armies touch the land, it is turned into a wasteland of thorns and brambles. After a war is fought, bad years are sure to follow. Therefore, one who follows the true nature will understand the principle of cause and effect and shall not rely upon the strength of force. By knowing the effect, thus will not brag. By knowing the effect, thus one will not boast. By knowing the effect, thus one will not become arrogant. By knowing the effect, allow one has no, although one has no choice, one still abides with the principles of cause and effect and does not resolve into force. All encompassing, like April says. Weapons are war of instruments of disaster. They are rejected by all beings. Thus, a person of Tao will not dwell upon them. According to the ancient custom of yin and yang, a man of virtue values the left, which is represented by yang, and a man of war values the right, which is represented by yin. Weapons are instruments of evil. Hi, Marie. Weapons are instruments of evil and are not valued by a man of virtue. They are only used as the last resort to attain peach when all else have failed. If their use is necessary, it is best to employ with calmness and tranquility. Even if it means victory, it is not something pleasant. Those who rejoice over the victory enjoy killing. He who delights in killing will not be favored by the people and shall not bring harmony to the world. Yeah. It is the ancient custom to favor happy events to the left as represented by Yang. While on set occasions, it is forced to be to the right as represented by Ying. When this right is applied in the army, the Lieutenant General takes the place of the left and the commander in, the chief, and commander in Chief takes the place of the right. This indicates that war is treated as if it is a funeral service. For many lives have been killed and hence should be mourned with sorrow. Therefore, although a victory was won, it is treated like funeral right. The universal Tao has no name, although it appears in the plainest and may seem small. It is inferior to nothing. If the kings and marquesses can abide by the great Tao, all beings shall act as guests and submit to them. Heaven and earth will then be in harmony and shall descend sweet dew. People will not require command and orders, yet can treat each other equally with peace. Amen to that. When Tao is manifested, names were given for the purpose of distinction. But one must know how to attain the original pureness in order to avoid danger and disaster. Tao exists in the universe like the rivers and streams that lead to the ocean. One who knows other people is wise. One who knows himself is enlightened. To overcome others is strong. One who is contended is rich. One who is determined has the strength of will. Those who embrace their true nature shall long live. He who is enlightened with the original nature, although dies physically, is eternally united with the everlasting Tao. The great Tao is ever present. It can adjust itself to everything. All things live by it 
and it does not deny them. When it works, when its works is accomplished, it does not claim possession. It gives great love to nature, to nurture all things and all lives, but dominates not. Yet all things entrust their lives to it, and it does not act as their master. This may be recognized as the great, because a saint does not restrict himself with the greatness. Hence, his greatness is accomplished. Amen. He who embraces the great Tao shall be the guidance of the world. Now, I'm going to add something here, guys. The great Tao. To me, this is the universe, this is source, this is creator. Ultimately, this is God. Ultimately, this is the ultimate. I think so much of the Tao being it written 2,500 years ago has so much to teach us about God, about each of us having our own unique way, about each of us having our own unique experience and cultivating that relationship and sharing with others. So I think so much of the Tao and the Tao Te Ching has so much value and virtue and pureness in it through a spiritual path that we can find a lot on this book about oneness, about love, about understanding the way. Because a lot of us are out here just finding our way. Actually, I think we're all out here just finding our way. I'm finding my way at all times. I'm understanding my way. I'm understanding your ways. I'm here wanting to learn your ways. And I encourage all of you, soon I'll be offering, um, again, consultations and free sessions to get to know all of you the same. I really want to dive deep into cultivating relationships with each of you, one by one, especially the team that we've created already and especially the ones I haven't got to know yet. Maybe some of you haven't and, and I haven't ever spoke. Oh, let's 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 talk when you're when when you feel like it, if that resonates with you. You know, but I really find that this book was probably the most influential book on my path, one of. So it's part of the reason why I'm sharing this book and other books that I've been sharing on my YouTube and on Facebook, like Union with God and and now this one as well, the Tao Te Ching, because I think they're so important to be heard again. So I'm going to continue reading from chapter 35 here. We're going to go through a few more chapters, and that's going to be all for today, guys. And uh, I hope you guys all go back to the beginning if you're just tuning in now and rewatch what you may have missed. And if you've missed, then go back and watch chapters 1 to 22. I'll be sharing that in the links below. And uh, if you want, reach out. You can contact me on my website, ryanjordan.ca, or on Facebook, or if you drop a comment here on YouTube or Instagram or wherever you're tuning in from, or Podbeam, or wherever I have this streaming right now. So we're going to continue here. So he who embraces the great Tao shall be the guidance of the world. We could call the great Tao God, source, love, goddess, true, goddess, Sophia, wisdom, Mm -hmm. We can put all that together, I think. And I think that that is the great Tao, the greatness. God. Some call it all different types of things. All things are good. Whatever you call it, share with us. Drop it below. However this resonates with you, let us know. What, what is the great Tao to you? You know, what do you guys think the great Tao is? Have you read this book? If you have, comment below. If you have some links to share, some insight on this, comment below. So... He who embraces the great Tao shall be the guidance of the world. She who embraces, embraces the great God shall be the guidance of the world. We can look at it like that. Remember, this book became before the Bible, right? So this isn't like new doctrine or new scripture or new age. This is like stuff that Jesus would have went and studied. And God would, God would have had Jesus study this. And many great masters of our times studied this. And it's still studied today. And it's the only book written by Taoists and sages, and it is very profound. It's made a big comeback. So by following him, the world will not be harmed. By following her, the world will not be harmed and will be rendered with peace and harmony. Ooh, amen to that, guys, right? Amen to that. Peace and harmony, right? Yeah, prequel. 
Pleasures and delicacy can only attract passers-by to stay temporarily. The teaching of Tao is plain without extraordinary experience, appearances. It cannot be seen, it cannot be heard, it cannot be depleted or exhausted. Yeah, so that's like God to me. It desires, it desire shall conceal true self. True self will manifest itself even more. If desire shall weaken true self, true self will, rink, will strengthen itself even more. If desire shall abandon true self, true self will prosperous even more. If desire shall deprive true self, true self will give even more. This is known uh, as the enlightened nature that is subtle yet profound. Gentleness overcomes strength and the meek overcomes the strong. Just as fish live in deep water and cannot survive even after being taken out of the depths. And the powerful weapons of a country should not be displayed. Just like one's true nature cannot be revealed to be seen. The everlasting Tao acts according to natural way. Therefore, there is nothing that it will not accomplish. If kings and the nobilities can abide by their true nature of and follow the great Tao, all things shall be reformed naturally. Well, I'd say the true nature is God, the God that resides within of us. So yes, it's not about following the nature of man or the nature of self. It's about following that true inner strength, that centeredness, that being, that oneness, that alignment, the source, the goddess. Amen to the goddess. Amen to Sophia. Hell yeah. Sorry, guys. There we go. Should be back. All right. Let's continue. If I can get the camera there. Okay, good. All right. I had to do a little fix on YouTube or on Facebook, guys. Everyone watch on YouTube. So if during the everlasting Tao it acts according to the natural way, therefore there is nothing it will not accomplish. If kings and the nobilities can abide by their true nature and follow the great Tao, all things can be shall be reformed naturally. If during the process of reform desires arouse, I shall overcome with the simplicity of original nature. With the simplicity of true nature, there shall be no desire. Without desire, one's natural nature will be at peace. And the world will naturally be in accord with the right way. A man of superior virtue is not conscious of being virtuous, hence is truly virtuous. A man of inferior virtue performs the purpose of virtue. Hence, he is not virtuous. A man of superior virtue acts without action and performs with his true nature. A man of inferior virtue acts with intentional effort. A man of superior kindness acts as natural act. A man of superior justice acts with righteousness and feelings for others. A man of superior etiquette acts according to his true self. Hence, no one responds to him by moving away. There where tie is lost, there is T virtue. When T is lost, there is humanity. When justice is lost, there is etiquette. Etiquette becomes prevalent when people fail to be sincere and honest. Hence, chaos begins. A person of knowledge and self-opinion will be hindered with from the enlightenment of town. Thus, this is the beginning of ignorance. Therefore, one who cultivates himself with Tao embraces the original nature and indulges not in sensual nature. He abides by the fundamental oneness and indulges not in sensory pleasures. Thus, abandon those desires and abide by this true essence of Tao. In the beginning, there were those who attained the oneness. Heaven, by attaining the oneness, became clear. Earth, by attaining the oneness, became peaceful. Spirit, by attaining the oneness, became divine. True nature is like an empty valley, and by attaining the oneness, it became fully productive. All things, by attaining the oneness, became alive. Emperors and nobilities, by attaining oneness, can bring peace and prosperity to the world. All these are the results of achieving oneness. Heaven without clarity would crack. Earth without peace would quake. Spirit without divinity would be powerless. 
true nature without productivity, product, productivity would result in exhaustion of life. All things without life essence would perish. Emperors without oneness to exalt them to nobility would stumble and fail and fall. Thus, honor is based on humbleness. The high builds its foundations upon the low. Therefore, the king and nobles call themselves the solitude, the unworthy, and the virtuous. It is, is this not the reason why they base their honor upon humbleness? Hence, the highly honored do not regard themselves as nobles and have no wish to be self-centered to think nobly of themselves as a piece of jade, nor to think lowly of others as a lump of stone. All equal, all one, all children of God, all of us, brother, sister, here together, our unity, our support, our collectiveness binds us together in oneness and in unity and in harmony. When Tao is in action, one's worldly nature can be reversed to the true nature. Gentleness is the way of application of Tao. All things in the world originate from the manifestation of Tao of God. The manifestation of Tao is the form of being of God, which originates from the non-being of the void, the great Tao. When a superior man heard of Tao, he cultivates himself diligently. When an average man heard of Tao, he is doubtful, vague, and would give up halfway. He is doubtful, vague, and would give up halfway. When an inferior man heard of Tao, he laughs and thinks of it as foolish. If Tao is not being laughed at, if it is not the great Tao. Thus, there is a traditional saying of one who is enlightened with Tao may appear foolish. He who is advancing in Tao may appear to withdraw. He who is advancing in Tao may appear to withdraw. Great Tao is plain and simple and which can adapt to all circumstances. Although it may seem uneven and rough, although all this may seem very much like God, you could replace Tao here with God, source, creator, goddess, Sophia, whatever you wish. I think all those things fit. Great Tao, a man of superior virtue is like an empty receptive valley. Valley. Like a lily in the valley. Be a lily, be a valley. Soak it in. Let the rain fall, let the sun shine. A man of innocence may appear to be disgraced. A man of great virtue appears to be deficient. A man who practices Tao and actively achieves great merits may appear gentle and meek. A man who follows his true self may appear to be changeable. Generosity has no rough angels. Great achievement is time consuming and is slow to complete. Great tone has no sound. Great Tao is formless. It is invisible and has no name. It benefits all and fulfills all. Tao gives birth to one. One gives birth to two. Tao gives birth to three. Three gives birth to all things and all beings. Call this the Holy Trinity. All beings bear the negative physical form, which is represented by yin, and embrace the positive true nature, which is represented by yang. With the union of these two, they arrive at a state of harmony. Men dislike to be the solitude, the unworthy, the virtueless. Yet the lords and nobles call themselves these names. Hence, things are benefited by being humble and damaged by profiting. What the ancients had taught, I shall also teach as such. A man of violence who is in disharmony between yin and yang, that is the physical body and the true self, shall die of an unnatural death. This is essential of the teaching of the Tao Te Ching. 
The softest of all things can overcome the hardest of all things. Regardless of being or the non-being, they all have to return to the empty void to express their gentleness. Thus, I have learned the benefits of natural actions without personal desires. Very few can understand the value of wordless teaching and do act of natural way. Fame and life, which one is of intimacy? Life and wealth, which one is of importance? To gain one, but to lose the other, which is of harm. Therefore, if one's desires are great, one would result in exhaustion. Overstock shall result in heavy loss. He who is contended will not suffer disgrace. He who knows his true nature will not incur danger. In it is in this way that one can long endure. And that's the end of chapter 44, up to chapter 44. So guys, I hope, and girls, divine ones and loved ones and all you beautiful ones tuning in from around the world and on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and here and there. Thank you all so much. Check in tomorrow and later today, I'm going to be doing um, Union with God. We're going to be finishing up chapter five and seven of that. So if you guys want to tune in for that, that'd be great. Sub subscribe, share, like, comment below. Let me know about your experience with the Tao. I send you all peace, love, and blessings. Thank you for watching. Thank you on Facebook to all you beautiful people. Thank you on YouTube. And thank you on Instagram. And thank you on Podbeam. Bless you all. Peace be with you. Bye, guys. And girls.